Hello, and this is going to be the first of many to come in Title CO2 uh, case reviews uh, from Paramedicine 101. I do a lot of EKG reviews, and I've done a uh, capnography in Title CO2 tutorial to kind of teach this stuff. So now I'm going to start doing some case reviews. Here's the scenario that goes along with this first one. You respond to a 65-year-old male. He's got severe shortness of breath. Uh, when you get there, you discover he's hypoxic. He's got an O2 sat of 88%, and he's already on home oxygen. And this is the capnography waveform you obtain. I'm going to show that on the next slide. But this should tell you that if he's on home oxygen, he has some sort of respiratory ailment. Uh, usually we say, you know, COPD ears. Sometimes your CHF patients, asthma patients, will have home oxygen as well. It's an elderly male, and he probably has other history, uh, just from age alone. So here's the, the capnogram that I gave. And I think most everybody kind of got this. This is uh, ind indicative of bronchospasm, okay, bronchospasm, which is, you know, a fancy way of saying bronchoconstriction uh, from pro probably a COPD exacerbation, all right? And what you see here on this capnogram is these very, you know, short, if you look here, this is normal up here at 40. Your, your entitled CO2 of 40 millimeters of mercury is normal between... 35 and 45 is actually the normal range, and depending on what you read, that can change. Sometimes it'll say 30 to 40, or sometimes it'll just give you a single number and say that that's normal. Uh, but I like to think 35 to 45, that's kind of the uh, the going range of normal. And if you notice the, the, the plateaus on this capnogram, you know, they, they go up in this up direction. They start very small, and they get a little bit larger, and they never really reach the normal range. Okay, this is what we call a shark fin pattern. Okay, shark fin. And you can see why, if you look at it, um, you can almost imagine jaws right here. Okay, you know, I can't, I'm not a very good drawer, but I'll just kind of draw my best example of shark. That's horrible. All right, big teeth right here. Okay, now you can see the shark fin, you know, swimming in the water. Uh, and that's really how we remember uh, that this is indicative of bronchospasm. is just the, you know, kind of shark fin pattern. And basically, you would just treat this patient how you would treat any other copd -er. Uh They're probably tachypnic. I think I said that he was short of breath. And this respiratory right here, you can't really tell because I haven't given you any time intervals, but it would be a tachypnic rate. And he needs bronchodilators. You'd, you'd obviously provide oxygen, maybe nebulized albuterol, maybe with a little atrovent. And if you have to, maybe go on to CPAP and provide some PEEP. Okay, so I just wanted to do, this is a very quick case. I mean, there's not much more to it. It's just a shark fin pattern that in, is indicative of bronchospasm, which we now know is bronchoconstriction. Okay, and here's a good resource. If you want to learn more about capnography, I certainly recommend the tutorial that I've done on YouTube. Uh, subscribe to my channel and check out the tutorial. And there's all kinds of EKG stuff out there, too, if you're into that. Um, but this uh, resource here is very, very good, very comprehensive resource for capnography. It's at capnography.com, so it's very easy to remember, capnography.com. Um, and they have all kinds of stuff from the physics, uh, pathophysiology. They have great examples of capnograms, and uh, they're all in GIF format, so they will actually play the capnogram for you uh, in pretty much real time. Um, so go check that out. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you like this quick little case review on uh, the shark fin pattern indicative of bronchospasm. Email me if you have any questions or any cool medical cases that you want me to maybe uh, feature in an upcoming video. I'll see you next time. Have a good day.